All right, hello everyone. I got some news on the case of the uh, suicide jumper that jumped in his pajamas. Noah Legaspi, L-E-G-A-S-P-I, 17 years old. The New York Post is reporting um, reporters Joe Marino and Dave Proper, also the Daily Mail, New York Daily Ta News, and the Daily Beast that uh, he had a breakup with his girlfriend, took a cab over to the uh, Mandarin Hotel, snuck past security, got up to the elevator, FaceTimed his ex-girlfriend, told her that, uh, look at this view, how be beautiful the view is, and then he loved her, and then he jumped off. Uh, the guy was, uh, the kid, he was split in half. Uh, his arm went across the street, as I told you, and it hung in the scaffolding. People came out because the, the, the noise was so loud, it rocked the hotel. And uh, they were in horror as they seen his split in half body, uh, body parts everywhere. Uh, it was a terrible situation. Uh, his brother was talking to the post. Looks like he was a volleyball player. He was an aspiring uh, fashion designer. He was also a bass player and uh, uh, Taylor. Uh, so they said that he always struggled with uh, anxiety and depression and he never felt loved enough. His brother told the post that he doesn't understand it because he was loved so much. And uh, his family said that basically if, or if you have someone that you love, call them, call your loved ones, call your loved ones, let them know that you love them, hold them tight and never take life for granted as they're grieving and my thoughts and deepest prayers go out to their family. Just an awful situation. I guess the ex-girlfriend found out that they had been identified him while she was at a volleyball game or a camp, and uh, she's struggling to come to grips with it. As he called her from the roof of the building and told her that he loved her and how beautiful the view was. So she was she was worried, she called the mom, and the mom had then built a Facebook page, which you could see that, trying to find him because he was missing and they didn't know where he was at. Now that's a memorial page. So 17-year-old Noah, uh, I got there after um, it had happened. Um, I was doing a story about a guy at the Trump International with the terrorism team, and I was there when they were uh, cleaning up the mess. It was just an awful, awful scene and an awful situation, but I was just so curious as to find out what happened, and uh, my deepest thoughts and prayers go to the family and to his soul. Um, terrible situation here in New York.